Yo, what's up guys, it's TraderX again in Soweto. Alright, so welcome to it, welcome to Trading Supply and Demand Top Down Analysis, right? Um, so this comes on the back of uh, quite a lot of you guys asking me to touch on the subject itself. Uh, maybe because you didn't understand the previous videos, I don't know, but here goes, here goes. So before we jump into it guys, I just want to say um, to all you guys that are still looking for, you know, the Supply and Demand books, I'm going to leave a link in the description. The price has been reduced until further notice, right? So go ahead and get those books. They will change the way that you trade, right? All right, so let's get into it. So top-down analysis. You know what? I think, to be honest, a lot of people make top-down analysis sound like something. I mean, rocket science or something. You know what I mean? And, and it really doesn't have to be. Um, it doesn't really have to be um, rocket science at all. So I'm going to show you how, you know, you can do what a lot of people would like to call top-down analysis. Um, in my case, I always call it, you know, just following the trend essentially like you know you know me guys every when whenever i go into the market i have to refer to my bigger time frame in order for me to be able to know which direction i'm going to be trading right uh, and if i'm going to be holding any positions i need to know what the bias of you know the the, the bigger time frame is and in my case i trade the daily the four hour and the hourly chart right but the daily chart is my go-to every single day when i open my charts i want to see where the daily is at, right? Or what it, what it's been doing in the past week or whatever the case is. But I want to see what's going on with the daily in order for me to be able to take my intraday time frame trades, right? Based off of the hourly chart. So let's let's jump into it. Let me show you what um, top-down analysis is, right? Top-down analysis is really that, right? Um, what you need to do is you just need to be finding not, not necessarily the trend, because you can still counter trade trend. I mean, yeah, you can still counter trend trade uh, based on a smaller time frame. Right? But for positions that you're going to be holding, it's quite important that you understand what the overall trend is on the bigger time frame. Right. So let's start with those guys that want to, you know, that, that, that I don't I don't I don't know if I should call it scalping. But let's start with that. Normally, or what I would recommend you do if if you're going to be a scalper is you might you want to find your trend based on the hourly chart right that will be your bigger time frame you want to see what price is doing uh on an hourly basis right and then you can take your trades based on the 15 minute chart it really doesn't matter how you're going to be looking at it you could still be looking at the 30 minute chart and taking your trades based on the five minute chart right um but what you want to do is you want to find a bigger time frame and then your smaller intraday time frame has to be at least uh two below that you know what I mean? So, for instance, if you want to trade, if you're going to follow the trend on the four-hour chart, you want to take your trades on the 30-minute chart. You know what I mean? So, let's start with that. So, suppose we were looking at the hourly chart, right? What you want to see is, you want to see what the overall bias is for, you know, that particular currency pair that you're looking at. We're looking at USD Swiss franc. No, I don't want USD Swiss franc. Um, um, yeah, this one here. This one here is... That's just, what is this? Pound New Zealand. There we go. So we're looking at the hourly chart. So what you want to see is you want to see where price is at at that particular time, right? So off the bat, looking at current price, I can clearly see that price is, you know, has made a move lower, right? From all the way up here. From all the way up here. From all the way up there. So now... When I look at the hourly chart right now, I can clearly see that, you know, the banks are probably taking profit here, right? If they're not taking profit, we're going to see a big candle come, come out of here um, to the upside, right? A big bullish candle to the upside. And that will basically say, you know, they're starting to buy now. But anyway, that's besides the point. So the point is you want to see what price is doing, right? So currently we can see the price is making its way down, right? The only reason I wouldn't trade this here is because of what's going on here. Uh, it's, it's because what's going on here. Chances are demand is going to come in. Ch yeah, demand is going to come in here. But anyway, so you want to see what price is currently doing, right? So right now, let me just highlight it in this pink box here. Right now, we can see the price is in a downtrend, right? And if you're trading supply and demand, what you want to see at the at, at the smaller intraday time frame is you want to see rally based drop, 
right? That's all you need to see, your rally base drop, and that's what you're going to be trading, right? Because we already identified the price is starting to move down to the down, it's, it's, it's making its way down, right? So what you do is you go over to the 15 minute chart and that's it. That's all that you're going to be finding. You need not concern yourself with counter trend trading, whatever the case is. All you need to do is you need to find a rally base drop where you can jump in and take advantage of the move down, right? So you don't want to be counter trend trading. You want to be trading with the markets themselves, right? Remember the saying again, the trend is your friend. That's what you want to do. So right here off the bat, I can see a trade right here that somebody would have taken on the 15 minute chart and they would have made a little bit of money. You know what I mean? Because that's all that you're looking for. All you have to do is wait. Uh, you, you essentially just waiting for, you know, ready base drop, wait for price to come back in there and then you take it, right? So this trade currently is sitting at about 95, 95 points, right? Maximum was 113 points. So that's, that's really all you want to do. So if you go, over, go back to the daily, I mean the hourly chart, Let's remove this one more time. So I just want to show you, you know, you can take advantage of every move the market makes. Yes, the overall trend, don't get this twisted, guys. The overall trend is to the downside, right? But this does not mean that you can't trade these pullbacks here. See this move here, as well as this one here, as well as all of this from here all the way to up there and some here and wells and here too this does not mean that you know these are all pullbacks right think about that these are all pullbacks because price is making its way down we can clearly see that it's in a downturn right so we want to be selling and holding on to those sell trades until this trend is has completed based on the bigger time frame Understand what I'm trying to say? But it doesn't mean that you can't trade all of these pullbacks. All of these pullbacks at smaller time frames, these are trends. You need to always understand that. These are big trends on smaller time frames, right? So for instance, I'll just snap off here real quickly. For instance, let's let's take a look at this first pullback here. This first pullback here, let's see what happened there. You could have argued for this one here. Yeah, this is actually a nice one. See, you could have had this. This is a counter trend trade. You would have had this here, right? Move back to the left again. And I see some more. I see some more trades that would have been successful right here. Here's one here. There's a nice trade that would have been successful right there. And it is a counter trend trade. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Let's go over to the other pullback here. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that interests me, but I see some here. Price never really came back down there, right? Um, so you see, sometimes, you know, messed up things like this happen. You know, you don't you don't get any zones that you can trade off of. You know what I mean? Until the move has completed. In this case, that's what happened here. I don't see any nice demand zones that would have or that that came up here and we could have traded, right? So let's go over to the left again and let's see what we can find. Um, nothing else here as well. Nothing here as well. Move over to the left again. And I see a couple of them. I see a couple of them that look actually nice. I see one here. Well, it looks like it's just only one. Yeah, I see one there. This one here. Ooh. Was never going to be a very nice one. But you could have got, a, got away with your one, two, three risk to reward ratio, right? Um, yeah, so let's go back again. So that's it, essentially. That's it. So that's what you want to see, uh, top down analysis, essentially, right? Now, these are all the pullbacks. Now, let's mark the continuation uh, moves, right? These are the continuation moves. Uh, let's change that. Let's make it green. Let's make it green. All of these are continuation moves right it's these what i like to do with continuation moves is i want to get in on it early and hold it until the trend is possibly over it's a hard thing to do holding on to a to a trade right because the emotions yeah you go through <laughs> you go through the emotions boy but yeah anyway um so for the purpose of the exercise here these are all the continuation moves right because price remember price is in a downtrend so you want to be 
trading with the trend itself right so these are not counter trend trades these are continuation moves so these continuation moves these are the ones that have a, the biggest potential of uh, you, well you have a biggest potential of earning a lot of money on the continuation moves right so we got the hourly chart we've identified that you know price is starting to move in you know um well it's it's starting to continue the trend itself right um so when you look at the daily i mean when you look at your bigger time frame and you see that you know we just completed if i can just uh, get your attention to that error right there let me remove the other one this error up here right once this red move here this this uh, pullback here has completed right we already know that we're anticipating right here we're anticipating um you know in this case will be a higher high, will be a lower high right we're anticipating that supply would come in at any point right and when this happens when you see this happen you can literally go down to your smaller time frames and wait for it to complete right because more often than not that's where you get the nice um levels for instance right here well i don't see one i don't see one that looks quite great but when this happens that's what you want you want to be in on it here because normally that's what would happen normally price would give you um, a zone to trade off of so you can take advantage of you know the move down altogether right if it doesn't happen almost immediately you you get the zones at a later stage for instance this one that i mentioned earlier you know you get the zones there so that's what you want to see you want to see where price is at when you look at your bigger time frame right so let's go see what we have on this second continuation here right so we go over to our 15 minute chart let's go over to a 15 minute chart right there where's my arrow okay so it's the second green one right so right here we already know we only looking for rally base drop right so this is a big rally base drop here and it wouldn't be i i wouldn't suggest that you, you, you would take this one actually but anyway it didn't work out either way um so price failed to come back there which is all fair and well because you know i just don't like a zone with so many candles inside of it um and nothing else happens see that nothing else happens you could argue for this one here but nothing else happens this one right here you could argue for that one right there but nothing else really happens you know your spread would probably be bigger than that zone in in, in, in any event so let's move over to the next zone here so now remember these are continuations we're only looking for rally based drop and that's it that is all that we're looking at right or we're looking for rather right here is a nice trade that somebody could have made a lot of money on again right here as well second opportunity to get into get in on it right now when you identify when you start to properly identify this right off the bat when you go into uh, a currency pair and you, and you can start to see where price is at at that particular time it will build your confidence in knowing that you know what if i'm going to be selling at a continuation chances are my trade is actually going to work out so this is an exercise that i i would strongly suggest that uh you know you do on a daily basis um you can color code it like i did here or, or not to make it easy for yourself right to make it easy for yourself you can color code it so that when you go into your charts on a daily basis you can right off the bat see what the hell is going on you know where we at at that particular time and how you should actually trade right because a lot of people complicate their trading and yeah it never really works out so all you need to do is just be aware of what price is currently doing once you're aware of that it will change everything it will change how you trade yeah and, and profits will soon follow so let's let's do a bigger one let's do a bigger one what is this euro gbp no um, yeah, your GBP is still fine. So let me get rid of all of this here. Um, all right, so we're looking at the daily. This is how I would trade, right? So we're looking at the daily right now, and I can clearly see right here the price was in a downtrend, right? Chances are we're going to be seeing another pullback here. Right, we're going to be seeing another pullback here so when i see this and i see this here right down here all this move here all of this right down there the congestion right there i don't want to be an under trade i don't want to sell anymore 
right? I don't want to sell anymore. I just want to see, I want to wait for price and see what's actually going to happen with price, right? And off the bat now, I can, I see a gap right here, which would have worked out. But let's, anyway, this is the daily chart. So I see we're in a downtrend right now, continuation, right? Downtrend because this downtrend began up here until that pullback happened there, right? Until that pullback happened right there. And there's another continuation again. So here, uh, I see a pullback actually going to happen, right? So I'll go over to my hourly chart, my intraday time frame, right? Or to snap off. And I know here, all I'm going to be looking for is rally, base, drop, right? That's all I'd be looking for. Here's one trade here that would have worked out quite nicely. Um, let's see if there's, um, there's some more. Let's see if there's some more. Let's see if there's some more. You could have taken this one as well. Could have taken that one as well. Let's let's see if we got a little bit more right here, pushing it, but it would have worked out, right? Um, there's actually lots here. There's a lot more. That one wouldn't have worked out. This one here, you would have been kicked out already. The stop would have been taken right there, but right after that, we get another zone here right there which would have worked out so that's all that you want to see right it's all that that's all i would want to see in actual fact top down analysis is not rocket science all you have to do is just understand where price is at at that particular time and then you're going to take up your trades and you don't count to trend trade when you when you're at the smaller time frames right because you want to trade with the trend itself right because remember price always changes hands it goes from going down to going up and going down and going up so you can take advantage of every single one of those moves right well as they happen so it's been 16 minutes right but anyway let's go back again to the daily chart right so this is the basics of how i would actually do my top-down analysis right um other than that what i what i normally do here is let's just let's let me do this here real quick so what i would do here is it's important for me to see what's going on on the daily chart first before I can, you know, go ahead and just trade. You know what I mean? I want to see if price is coming into, say, a supply zone or a demand zone and how far we are from that supply or demand zone. So I'd mark those supply and demand zones, right? And, but though within, as you can see with these two, let me just mark them quite nicely with these two zones here, right? So that's a, that's a supply zone right there um let me mark it real quick so that's a supply zone that's my supply zone right there and i've got a demand zone right down here right and i've got a demand zone right there so i normally mark them like this so i would mark them and i make sure that they're valid all right make sure that they're valid mark them like this and i make sure that they're valid and in between here that's where I'd operate on the smaller intraday time frames, right? That's where I make a lot of cheddar here. Let's just make that pink. So in this pink box here, in between the zones themselves, right? This is where I'm going to be operating. My rally base drops are going to be, well, I'll, I'll be looking for my rally base drops in between this pink box, only at the smaller intraday time frame. So I'll be looking at the daily and at the hourly chart in this pink box here. I'd only be looking for my rally base drops until I get to my next zone, right? So I'd mark those and I know whenever I get to, you know, in between that, I'll, I'll trade accordingly. And that's how you actually make money. That's how you actually make money, yeah. So top-down analysis is not rocket science. A lot of people like to make it seem like it's rocket science. It really isn't. All you have to do, and especially when you trade supply and demand, all you have to do is identify your bigger supply and demand levels and that's it that's all that you have to do and you trade in between them so if we're in a we're in an we're in an uptrend we already know that demand exceeds supply right so all we want to do is finding drop base rallies all the way to the next zone you know what i mean and when we get to that next zone we already know that there's a high chance that price is going to have um, a reaction to that zone be it a supply or demand and we want to trade accordingly after price has had that particular um um, response to that level you know what I mean so this is how I would do my um, top-down analysis and I expect that you guys would also do it do it like this because it will it will help you it will help how you trade everything you know what I mean 
So I hope that answers most of you guys' question, um, especially the guys that have been asking me for this video here. If it doesn't, by all means, leave comments. Um, yeah, and, and, and I'll get back to, well, I'll, I'll try my hardest <laughs> to answer all of your questions that you may have. Other than that, guys, it's been a minute. How long has it been now? It's been 20 minutes, I think. Yeah, it's been 20 minutes. Thanks once again for your time and ears and your support. I really appreciate it to each and every one of you guys who subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, keep them coming and I'll continue to pump out the content. You know how it goes. So until the next time, I'm out.